today on Duality Gamecast, Unboxing Cold Cold Quest. Hi everybody, I'm William. I'm Matt. I'm Dylan. And today we're doing an unboxing and assembly video for Colt Express. Let's check it out. Colt Express was uh, pretty big on the convention circuit last year, I believe. Um, I think it was a strong sell point for it was uh, it has the 3D train in it. Looking forward to that. Um, it's a program movement game where we're all train robbers, but we're not train robbers working together. <laughs> so I know that there's a sheriff that runs around the train, and depending on how you move and what actions you take, shenanigans can get up to it. So uh, kind of looking forward to checking this one out. Okay, we got characters in here. Let's see, we got Ghost, Doc, Django, Tuco, Tuco, there's Bell. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. And Belle. And Belle. Did you get Doc already? It looks like they all have special abilities on them. Yeah, so they have two sided boards, I believe. Oh, no. I'm, well, they are two sided boards, but, they, but what I understand is I think there's a basic variant where you don't use their abilities. Lego style instructions. And then they all have special abilities. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's actually like old school. Yeah. Like, I'm assembling a bookcase instructions. Go to the train. Okay, let's see. So this looks like the engine. You want that one? Uh, sure. I'm not really good at stuff. I'm going to try to guess their icons. Let's see. Bell has punch, question mark, fit, uh, gun. You could probably do either. Maybe. Maybe. Cheyenne has a hand holding a bag of money. She's probably good at stealing. Tugo has gun blast, gun, and then gun blast, gun again. <laughs> so he could go sound dangerous. Django has gun blast with an arrow. Shoot a move, probably. Maybe shoot a move or maybe range, farther range or something. Oh, uh, Doc has seven with a fan of cards. I bet you he has more cards. Ghost has one and looks like the Alamo or something. I don't know what that is. Maybe something to do with tunnels. I think there's tunnels. Oh, there's there tunnels. That's right. All right, so how many characters do we have there? We have one, two, three, four, five, six characters. Four, six. And there's seven here, so I'm guessing the fuchsia one is probably... That's a, oh, that's her? That's Bell. One the, the yellow sheriff, one, maybe. Right. Probably the yellow one. Yeah. Gold chair. It's cool that little meeples are pulling their guns out in two different directions. Cowboy meeples. Uh, this game says in the box it's 40 minutes, two to six players, ages 10 plus. It comes with, it looks like basically all there is in the game is our player cards, maybe a couple, basically there's two small decks of cards, and trains. Yep. Looks like that's all there is. Wow. So, yeah. and the box looks like there might be some assembly in it. Maybe it's just to hold the train pieces yeah, or something. Like some dividers. It's probably okay. with this. Here. Oh, hey. there you go. Oh, you had the fun part. You can assemble the box, Matt. There you go. I'm loving these meeples because they look like an old Atari game cowboy. They do. It's hilarious. All right, so let's see here. So you have the engine. Yeah. You want to see how the engine's made? Yeah. Um, there you go. Just follow steps one through 14. All right. And then I think I already did this wrong, unless there's another divider somewhere. Right. Oh, oh, do I have to take out these ones? Things. Yeah, things. Okay, so there's a bunch of little money bags here. Pop all those things out first. Yeah, so I think you're running around the train, you're picking up bags of money, you're shooting at people, you can lose your money. And I think that the shooting mechanic is some weird thing where you like give bullets to people. I don't know exactly. Is there a respawn? Well, if you die? Yeah, there's no elimination. Okay. Other cool thing I remember hearing from the previews uh, when last year was the box actually will hold your assembled train. Well, that's good. So that's really. Don't want to take it apart every single time. All right, that shit's done. Thank you, pardon. Um, chipboard. What? Let's we'll see. See, yeah. right. see if see if they all have the same kind, or maybe they uh, they have actually have different uh, like decks. Yeah. They're all have the same boxes so far. Oh, I see. Figuring it out. Um. Oh no! There's a card that has Bell's name on it. Oh, there. Oh, I love the. The component quality is really cool. I like that so far. Cards are nice linen. They're undersized. 
little smaller and big rounded corners. Ah, oh, this is clever. What really seems to be cool is they just added fun shit because they had space on here. There's like terrain you can just lay out. So like here's a rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a cactus, right? Yeah. yeah. And there's a little roadrunner rock. Oh, roadrunner is my reference for the desert. Sorry. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Like there's just extra... Because, I mean, they had the space, so yeah. you might as well, like, add a little extra flair to the game. Theme it up. Yep. And what I'm hoping is that there's beyond just theme with this game, right? We're hoping there's some good gameplay in here. And from the little bit of reviews I've seen, it seemed like there's some neat stuff. Because it's program movement, and that people take it really bad. It seems yeah. like some people really don't like it. It didn't look like it was super in-depth program movement. No, I don't think it's, like, robo-rally level of craziness. But... So... so i to do a Robo Rally video sometime. Oh man. Is that like a 90s game though? Uh, I don't realize that's you. That seems like a long time ago, Dylan. But uh, yeah, actually, it was probably late 90s, huh? Yeah, it's not Alright, so it looks like every character has their own deck of cards. We have. Oh boy. Also, I don't know, these are probably yeah, reminder these, cards. These are very loose. They have a bounty on the back, so I'm sure These do not fit very well. Maybe kill them. Do they not fit very well? Mm -hmm. They fall off very so, easily. All the small stuff I put together has been pretty snug. Hope maybe once you get all the pieces on, they'll like... I don't know. There are three... train cards. I don't know what those are. But everyone has their own deck. Let me just fan through them see if they have different things. That's a lot of cards. Because I'm guessing you don't have every single card in your hand, right? You're probably drawing I some. Think and I think so. Because I think that Don guy looks like he has a draw ability. Oh, this is a cow skull. Very thematic. Yeah, it, it, and at first look through, it looks like the decks are all kind of made the same. Okay. So I think it's just going to be their character ability, probably. So, is this like Bang anyway? Uh, it's Western themed, and you well, can shoot at people. <laughs> yes. Oh, because I, I think the game works is basically you're going to have a hand of cards, and then you're going to lay down two cards or something like that. You lay down a certain number of cards, Dylan, in order, and then those cards. Then everyone does that, and then you all flip over your cards and resolve them like around the board. So it's possible mm -hmm. that like you know like you'll you'll run to me and shoot me at your next card, and maybe I'll have like a kick as my card, so I'll kick you back and I'll be out of range or something like that. Yeah. So there's a little bit of trying to outthink other players. And then there's trying to maneuver people so they run into work. the sheriff. I think is a thing. How does this work? I don't know. I don't know. This is weird. So some extra cards, because we'll see what those are for. Those are probably, maybe those are round cards, or number of player, like, because maybe it's played over well, rounds. There's also a bunch of uh, these X cards, which look kind of like gunshots, mm -hmm. that everyone else has. I think there might be a dead card mechanic in this game. I think, like, when you get shot, you might have to put a dead card in your deck or something. Right, don't, don't quote me on that. That'll be the next review. So, I just want to stop here for a minute and show that I'm the only one here that knows how to assemble a train. I've already won this game, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. Train. It's made. 
It took us like, what, 17, 18 hours? We haven't slept, we're exhausted. We did a few things wrong at first, but we, we recovered. Instructions, read the instructions. The wheels are a little tricky, but it worked out good. I really like it. Looks really cool, it has all these cool terrain pieces. Yep. Uh, we're, now we're gonna read the rules, figure out how to actually play the game. We're gonna play it 20, 30, 1,000 times, and then coming up next, we'll have a review for it, let you guys know what we think. Come back and see it. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.